My name is Tim. I'm going to be acting as the airway doctor for this procedure today, and this is Jenny. She's acting as the airway nurse. We've got a 70-year-old male here who's presented as a recent discharge from ICU with a bilateral pneumonia. Has come into hospital tonight in acute respiratory distress. He's hypoxic, he's got increased work of breathing, and he's febrile. So we realise quite quickly that he's going to need to be intubated to secure his airway and control his oxygenation. Um, difficulties surrounding this case are that he's pre presumed to be pretty septic, and he's borderline hypotensive, so there's a number of issues that we have to treat first of all. Initially we'll have to try and optimise that blood pressure with some fluid boluses, and we're going to presume that we're going to have to give maybe a small amount of metaraminol to pick up his blood pressure prior to intubation. Um, in terms of his airway, the plan is going to be plan A, to intubate with a MAC blade, um, with a bougie first, and probably a size 8 tube for this guy. Um, if that's unsuccessful, plan B is to use the video assisted laryngoscopy um, with additional airway manoeuvres and the option of ramping the patient further. Um, if that's unsuccessful, we'll go on to plan C, which is to use a rescue device of an LMA size 4, and followed by plan D, which would be a surgical airway, and we'll have a look at the neck first to see if we can mark that appropriately. Um, as I mentioned at the start, this gentleman was recently discharged from ICU and was known to have a difficult to treat organism, so we're going to be using full respiratory contact precautions during the procedure. Okay, so as you can see, we've all applied surgical masks to our face, given this guy is a risk of respiratory infection. Uh, for that reason, it makes it difficult for communication. So I've asked the room to stay quiet, and I'll try and project my voice as best as possible. Um, so far, this patient has been pre oxygenated with nasal prongs and a bag valve mask. Uh, we've given a small amount of metaraminol in addition to fluid bolus, and despite that, he remains slightly hypotensive. We're going to have to intubate him fairly quickly. So, Jenny, are you ready to go with our planned procedures? Yeah, ready. Okay, so first instance, we'll go for plan A, which is a MAC blade. Let's have a look. At the moment, I'm getting a very poor view. All I can see is tongue, no view of the cords, still no view. It's a field plan A. We're going to come out, we'll re it and we'll get prepared for plan B. So I've got Amanda on standby to provide some additional airway maneuvers. I think what we'll also do is, is there any way we can optimize the patient's position? Yep, there probably is. Let's put another pillow in under his neck. Okay, so put that in. Good, that's better. Okay, so let's have a look with the video laryngoscope. <clears throat> Looking at the screen, still not getting much of a view. Amanda, if you could put your hand there for me and provide some burp, and just keep it there. That's perfect. Looking at the screen, bougie to me. Back to the screen. Good. Tube over the bougie, please. Tube it to my fingers. Tube to your fingers. Take the tip of the bougie. Okay. Bougie out. Bougie's out. Cuff up. Cuffs in. Good. Cuffnography, please. Okay, and ventilate. Amanda, can you have a listen to both sides of the chest? Yeah. Okay. Tube's fogging, and we've got a capnography trace. Yeah. Good, we have a successful intubation. So in this case, we've managed to successfully intubate the patient on plan B, and we've got ongoing issues. He required a small amount of metaraminol for his blood pressure, so we're thinking in a septic patient, he's going to require ongoing anotropic support. And on the background of a bilateral pneumonia, we've also got issues to think about regarding his ventilation. So we'll speak to the ICU doctors about that. 